Hello friends. Welcome to Kids Academy. Today we are going to learn about the concept of zero. Hi. I'm zero. I look like a circle or an oval. I can bring a lot of fun with my other number friends. Concept of zero. Zero was invented by a great mathematician, Aryabhatta. How do we understand zero? The jar is full of cookies. Peppa and George eat all the cookies one by one. Now the jar is empty. It has zero cookies, which means there are no cookies in the jar. Let us understand this with one more example. We have a beautiful flower and a butterfly is sitting on it. The butterfly flew away. How many butterflies are there on the flower now? There is zero butterfly on the flower. Thus, Zero means nothing. Here is an activity. You can observe the things around you which look like a zero. Write their names. Here are some examples to help you. A ball. An orange. A dinner plate. And an egg. All these shapes are in a circle or an oval which resemble the shape of a zero. You can find things around you other than these examples and see how a zero looks like. Now let us understand numbers beyond 10 from 11 to 20. We represent them in groups of tens and ones. One ten and one one make eleven. One ten and two ones make twelve. One ten and three ones make thirteen. One ten and four ones make fourteen. One ten and five ones make fifteen. One ten and six ones make sixteen. One ten and seven ones make seventeen. One ten and eight ones make eighteen. One ten and nine ones make nineteen. Remember, twenty is two group of tens. One ten, two tens. Two group of tens make twenty. Now let us see how we place the numbers from 11 to 20 in the tens and ones column. Numbers from 10 to 99 are two digit numbers. So they need two places to sit. One is the tens place and the other is the ones place. 11 is one ten and one ones. So, we write one in the tens column and one in the ones column. Similarly, we carry it out for the rest of the numbers. 
twelve is one tens and two ones. We spell twelve as T W E L V E. Thirteen is one ten and three ones. We spell thirteen as T H I R T W E N. Fourteen is one ten and four ones. We spell it as F O U R T W E N. Fifteen is one ten and five ones. We spell it as F I F T W E N. Sixteen is one ten and six ones. We spell it as S I X T W E N. Seventeen is one ten and seven ones. We spell seventeen as S E V E N T W E N. Eighteen is one ten and eight ones. We spell it as E I G H T W E N. Nineteen is one ten and nine ones, and it is spelled as nine N I N E T W E N. Twenty is two tens. And zero ones, and we spell it as T W E N T Y. Here is an activity for you. Draw two houses as shown below. Name them tens and ones. Make small play-doh balls around twenty in numbers. Place them in the houses by grouping them into tens and ones. You can carry it out with all the numbers from one to twenty. Happy grouping! Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.